So Black Friday sales is upon us. And let me go through some of the add-ons that I love to absolutely use. And we're gonna cover pretty much quite a few of them in this scene. So first off is Extreme PBR Combo, which I think is called Nexus. Extreme PBR Nexus now. Now, a lot of these add-ons, I do have affiliate links. However, some of them I don't. If you do want to support the channel, click the link in the description. If you don't, sick. But Extreme PBR Combo is just kind of like a massive material library that we can just start throwing on all these things here. Um, and for those of you who have seen my channel quite a bit, you'll see that I use this quite extensively and I've used this quite a bit on this scene here. Another one that I use, obviously we can see trees in the background is the Botanica full add-on, which is kind of just a massive library of plants and so on and so forth, rocks, all this jizz, jazz and caboodle. And you can kind of see just kind of how nice this is. I put all the same pine trees in the background. Now I still do like to mix it up a little bit and I do use grass blade add-on, which is kind of just another massive library of grasses and so on and so forth. Now this is based off the scatter add-on. Check that one out as well. Amazing balls. In one of the previous short films, I used kind of like all these wheats and so on and so forth. But this is once again, a nice library of just terrain that you can kind of just throw down and make look things look schmick. Now an add-on that I've been using in the past quite a bit, however, I've started using a lot more iClone and doing all the pre-animation in there is Auto Rig Pro. So if you've got a character that you've created, you can quickly assign all the controls, you know, the finger joints, so on and so forth. So for instance, if I were to select this character, ooh, would this work? Um, I've got the add-on for the add-on, which is Quick Rig Pro. So if I were to import Character Creator 3 Plus, and then I go Quick Rig, okay. Uh, this is because I'm in Blender 3, so I haven't downloaded the update yet. I'll link in the description on how to use it. So if you want to check that out for more, there's mm. another add-on that I use quite heavily is RDB Labs. One of the main reasons is because it resets the cell fracture quite nicely. And it just gives you a lot of extra controls where you can put in smoke and extra debris and so on and so forth. So that's another great add-on. Now you've got Simply Cloth Pro. Um, great tool for creating cloth dynamics as well. Now it's got a pretty good library of pre-made clothes. So you can whip some clothes onto characters that you've created as well. <sighs> Another great add-on that I use is a city builder add-on where we can quickly import wonderful little buildings of all sorts. And just like that, we can just start throwing in these major buildings, so on and so forth. This is the Metro one. So this is more of the city one, but there is industrial ones. There is kind of like a war-torn one. So if you need to create a quick landscape, mm, that's is good. Now, another one where I'm trying to get the workflow happening for myself is the random flow add-on. So if I go control Q, oop, shift Q, shift Q, <laughs> and we go into panels, we can kind of add panel seed, so on and so forth. F9, bring that up. Let's subdivide this thing with the cuts there. There we go. So we can quickly add in kind of like these panels, or if I wanted to, I could select an area, right click, sorry, shift Q, and we can go extrude. Let's label a whole bunch of these. Let's give this a bit of more loop cuts. And there we go. Um, if you go check out Ian's channel, link in the description for that one, you can see the stuff that he is making and he is Mwah. once again. <laughs> So some of the things I'll be planning to pick up is the creative bundle from Blender Guppy, which has created random flow. I will probably be snapping up e-cycles as well. You know what? I need speed with cycles. So I think I will snap that up. And also from P2 Design, I might grab up this Cliff Tower Blender environment. I saw that a few years ago, kind of tickled my fancy. It's probably time to do it. Now you have to remember as well that when I'm recording this, the Blender Market and if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Hopefully this short film will be out within the week and then we can move on to the next project where I am developing VR in Unreal Engine. Mm -hmm.